if you had to say what the success of the racers group is, I, I think that the way Kevin has put the team together and he's taken steps and he's aligned everything to, to be in a position to win these races. You know, when I was younger, I used to think, well, you know, you go out there and races are won on, you know, pure, pure grit and determination. But really, you need to put yourself in a position to win. I mean, when you show up, there's a few, realistically, there's a few teams that have a real good chance of winning. I mean, anything can happen, you know, a dark horse can come up and win the race, but I think the methodical way on which the whole team has been built it didn't happen, you know, overnight, but uh, a step's been taken every day to get the team to a point where when we show up, we're capable of winning. Yeah, baby! That's what we want to hear. That's what we want to see. That's the start of a good weekend right there. Whoa! Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's a done deal. This is a beautiful, beautiful deal. Daytona, here we are. We want our trophy back. And it all kind of started as a way for me to race for cheap because, you know, I could make five of these kits and then I could keep one for myself. And that's how this company started. That's how the racers group started. There's so many things that can happen in a 24-hour race. Anybody that talks about racing, they ask what the allure is. Not fear of the unknown, but the unknown. What's, they don't know what's going to happen next. You know, at this point, we've we've got this really good group of guys and got a really stellar group of crew members that are good with the car. Yeah, the car's good. I, th I think this car is going to be very quick tomorrow. You know, everything kind of focuses around here, I guess, on uh, Gary Beal, <clears throat> uh, our crew chief for Car 66. Kind of leads the guys into battle a little bit. He's pretty serious. He's the one they tease a lot for being so serious, but he, uh, he does a real good job, and I, you know, I put my life in his hands. Uh, we're pretty good. It's always it's always a lot of stuff going on in that first session. But everything we have is pretty minor, so so that's a good deal. Bill's kind of cut from the same mold. He's real meticulous. He knows every inch of the car and uh, is real good on the organizational side of things. Tommy is a, he's a real character. He's a, he's a good mechanic. He's well-rounded. He's a good people person, which was kind of attracted uh, a lot of us to Tommy in the first place. He's real good with the, I mean, everyone who works with him on the driver's side uh, will come out of the weekend and always say, hey, I like that guy. Tranny's tight, water line's tight, clutch line's up. I think it's ready to slide underneath. Uh, Brian owns uh, Black Forest Tuning down in Deland, Florida, and has stepped up as our crew chief for Car 68 for the rest of the season. Uh, he does a, got a lot of experience. Now we're heading over to the transmission guy, and we're going to change the gear ratios. Okay. So hopefully we'll pick some speed up tonight, and everybody will be happier. Bob Lesnit, a friend of mine who is sort of semi coming out of retirement. Bob has some of the most diverse background of any of the engineers out there, and I bet he'd be one of the strongest engineers of this year's Rolex. Do the best you can, and then you take the package you have, and you say, "Okay, it's race time." You know, you just go out and race. Scale of one to ten, where are you guys right now? Uh, we're at eight. I would say, and you know, we're looking to be a nine. I'd be real happy with that. Mike does a stellar job in a lot of things. Uh, you know, a lot of engineers just work on twisting the knobs on shocks or, you know, working with the drivers. Mike is really multifaceted. Uh, he can do just about anything when it comes to the engineering side of stuff. It's 24 hours. It makes no difference at all until the 23rd and a half hour, right? So, and even sometimes it doesn't matter then. We just, I want to, I really want to be there in the end. It's like half the game. Scott he has an amazing knack to be able to do what he does, which is financially probably the biggest thing for me is the tires. Scott handles the tires, he handles the fuel a lot of times, and he handles the graphics on the cars, and is really, really good at, at getting all the details right. I'm always proud of the job Scott does, he works real hard. Look forward to starting this race now, actually. All the years I've been doing this, things have been real good. Shane will be uh, joining us this year, Shane, our marketing director, and I'll tell you what, there's a there's an A-plus student right there. We'll, uh, we're throwing him to the wolves for the first great Rolex Daytona. We'll see if he survives. My vote is, uh, I bet he does a good job. 
I think overall it was really good. Yesterday was sort of frustrating for everybody, I think, um, myself included. But when we got the cars all running right this morning, I mean, several people noticed it, that it was just all of a sudden everybody's attitudes changed. Everybody started getting positive again, you know? And I mean, after all, we won it last year. We won Le Mans last year. We're the favorites coming in this weekend. We have three strong cars. We have 12 strong drivers. I think everybody's happy with what's going on today. Um, everybody's got to get some sleep tonight, though, and get up and ready to do it. It's going to be a hell of a long day tomorrow, that's for sure. I think there are sort of four races today. You know, you race to get to the evening, and then you race to get to the morning, and then you race to get to 12 o'clock tomorrow, and then from 12 to 1, you better have something left to, to make a go of it. Yeah, we changed the engine, and um, that helped really a lot, and um, the lap times were really good, and I'm quite optimistic for the race now. We really got to play a big, fat chess game here. It isn't all about going out. You know, obviously, you've heard it a million times, going out, getting in an accident, or doing anything early on. Please, everybody, each and every person, especially in your first stint, settle into your rhythm. I'm How are you feeling? Anxious. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. First ten minutes? Eh, a little bit. Little butterflies are starting probably in about a half an hour an hour. Yeah. It's, it's just a little anxious. It's good. It's a big race. It's the start of this new season, and we've got a perfect day. I mean, everything's falling together for us, so. <laughs> Put your head down and drive. Good. a really long race but I think for a long distance race it'll be a sprint race. This is a great car for 24 hours. This is almost exactly like the car we won in last year and uh, we'll do our best to try to repeat. I wouldn't bet against one of these horses in a 24 hour race. Let me tell you, we're proud to be driving. It's perfect. The car is just dead on perfect. We've got power, we got uh, braking, we got handling. What more could you ask for? I think we're at a nine and a half right now on the car, that's for sure. Can't ask for more. No, no, we're in great shape. Now it's just a matter of, you know, if everybody does their job, makes no mistakes, and we have a little luck, and the engine and all the hardware holds up, we'll be right there. And now, with those magic words of motorsport, once again, our Grand Marshal, Bobby Rahal. Gentlemen, start your engines. GT car against Daytona prototype. Here's the race leader, Michael Strong. You're riding with the late Cardo, Kevin Buckler. So he really does need the caution. And um, you can see that there's not much gaining going on here. The lap times are so close that um, not, not a lot of progress. You can see the car right there. You can see it right there.
race has been all about. The Racers Group Porsche, the 66 car, takes the checkered flag first from the GT category to win the overall here at Daytona. And look at Kevin Buckler. The guys did what they always do best. We came here, we put our heads down, we went to work. I didn't really want to talk about it too much. There were some really good teams here. We had a battle last night with one of the Daytona prototypes, like 30 seconds apart for hours, and it was just fingers. You know, we're biting our nails the whole time. A lot of good GT teams too, but as the race uh, stretched on a little bit, we just stayed consistent and didn't make any mistakes. A little Porsche was perfect. Second year in a row, and we are three and oh on 24 hour races, Michael. That's right. Three and oh. I want to tell you that the very best script I ever worked for is the race I've worked for a few different teams, and the team that has the best balance of eroticism. Total logic. He's a medium. And they win races. Thank you, Kevin. Congratulations. Kevin. Porsche is the best.